In today's video, I'm going to show you how you could share your Microsoft Word documents and have them edited in real time. <laughs> how cool is that? Before leaving, I'm sure you subscribe to Microsoft Word tutorials only because all I do here is upload videos about Microsoft Word tutorials. Now let's get right into the video. Now on our ribbon menu, we're going to go up to file we're going to come across here well we're going to ensure that the home tab is selected because that's where we want to go and we have a series of files here let's work with the first file entitled now hiring for notice boards we're going to uh, hover our mouse pointer to the right of the screen if you move it, it's going to disappear. So the little share icon is there. If you hover over it and it says save, no, sorry, it says share, right? So we want to click on the share button with little arrow over the page. We can click share. And there are several options here. Now you could either send the, the link as an editable link where anyone could have access to it or you could customize it right now if you want to customize it you click can edit right so can edit can view sharing settings right uh, let's go to can view right and you're going to type the person's emails in there. So let's say it's info at share. This is just an example. Share.com. Right? We put the person's email in there. We could add like a customizable message here. And then we click send. Now there's another option that allows only specific people to view it. I'm not sure why it's not in it. For some reason it's glitching out. Let's just close it and go back in here. I'm not sure why it's glitching. Alright, so we'll click the down arrow and we could also click sharing settings. Now this one allows only specific people to see it so first we had anyone with the link could either view or edit it now we're going to come down to specific people we click that and then you could add who can edit right so you click the down arrow and then you put can view etc now when you click let's come down to the date all right so it says more settings you know that we have can edit can only view and we click the arrow and it's telling us um expiring links now the links evidently based on this pop-up expires so it says keep your shared files and photos more secure by giving others access for a limited period of time right so then you could click go to premium and if you have money to um to make a purchase you could just explore these options now there's a free version here that says microsoft 365 and this is for free that's if you have an account you sign up for free and it gives you what your limitations are or what your options are so of course when things are free you're more limited when you pay <laughs> you get more options but we're not going to explore that today so let me just close that and i'll go back to microsoft word so what we want to do we want to select anyone with the link right we want anyone with the link to have access now we're going to go back to the top here and we're going to click the back arrow and because we're selecting anyone with the link, we're going to click copy. Right? You can copy it again, it's up to you. 
until you feel satisfied that the link has been copied. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, let me just jump to my inbox right here. Now, this was um, me <laughs> sharing the link to my son's email. For some reason, I always leave the, what would you call it? Sharing it. This is me sharing it to my son's email. So it says, now hiring for notice boards. All right. Now, I actually sent this to his email and I used his laptop to go into his email and I opened the link. When I opened the link, I'm just going to do it on my laptop just for viewing purposes, right? It opens up in the web based um, portion of Word. Now, this is very important for people who do not have Microsoft Word on your computer. You could always use the web based version. And I'll link a video in the description for that. And I'll also put one at the top where you could click on the link to show you how to use uh, not only Microsoft Word, but just Office, Microsoft Office in general. The web based version, you won't have to pay for it. Now, what I did, I came down to my email where it says rotydarling at gmail.com. And I put a, what would you say, a full stop at the end of it. And I said, I wonder if I put that full stop there, if it's going to show up back on, on my PC. So I, just as how it looks here on my PC, I did it just like that on my son's computer. I closed it down and I had come back to Microsoft Word. I opened the file, <laughs> right? And when I scrolled down, because I don't put full stops after my email addresses, right? When I scrolled down, I saw the full stop was there. So this is so cool. You could edit in real time. Like, who doesn't want to do that? I hope this tutorial was useful to you. And if it was, that's why you should subscribe, right? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.